And welcome back. As we saw before the break, we set a record high today. Again, 80 degrees. Our low was 67 this morning. It's well above our normal. These two, yeah. And 78 back in 1999 is broken. No precipitation. We're still sitting about an inch below where we should be this time of year. Radar satellite over the past three hours. Yeah, I showed you earlier this system. This is a pretty large and vast system. What's interesting to note is behind it, the cold air that's sinking behind this cold front is uh, only a couple thousand feet thick right now. So just to the west of Tulsa right here, just to the west of my parents actually, they just call me. They're getting some freezing rain, a little bit of sleep, but it's also a severe thunderstorm because about 3,000 feet above the ground, it's right about 60 degrees. So these are elevated storms. They fall through these, uh, this freezing uh, layer, but they're still severe. So it's something you don't see every day. This system will eventually move on into our area. The front will, it's kind of stationed up into northwestern Kansas. You can actually see that system really, or that cell, boom, there it goes right there on water vapor. Yeah. So again, we won't really have to worry about this too much. Our lows for tonight, while we may have a little bit of drizzle later on, we're going to probably see increasing clouds. We're still going to be in the mid 60s, just like last night. The winds will be out of the south, 5, 10 miles per hour. And then for your Thursday, another day of record warmth. I said earlier, I don't know if we would set a record here in Meridian, but seeing today's temperatures and looking at some of the newer data, we possibly could set a record. I'm looking at least 80 degrees here. So yeah, and then that front on off to our west, we'll move through late Thursday night, giving us a slight chance of some showers and then just kind of colder weather behind it for a couple days. Highs for tomorrow again. Yeah, we'll be right around 80 degrees across the entire area. Union, Collinsville, 78, 79, Newton, 79. Those winds picking up a little bit, 10 to 15 miles per hour out of the southwest. We'll have times of clouds and sun. And here we go through our future radar again. We've got several waves of clouds. A few scattered showers going on into your Thursday morning. And then there's that front moving through. So again, Thursday night when this moves on through, we could have, if we have enough moisture and there's enough instability along with it, could see maybe some rain across the area, but this is going to be quick moving and get on out of here over the next five days. Again, we're only talking a quarter to a half inch of rain. And this weekend, jet stream far on up to the north, out of the U.S. really. This is our next little rainmaker moving on through. Some snow in the upper Midwest, a mix in between, and then some showers on off to our west. Those will move into our area Monday into Tuesday. All right, so the next three days, we're looking 80 degrees for your Thursday. And we dip into the upper 40s for Friday, so below average, 52 on your Saturday, and then we'll get a quick warm up. We'll be in the mid 60s for Sunday low clouds across the area. Monday and Tuesday, yeah, cloudy with some rain, but we'll be at 70 degrees, so we'll be above average again. And then another little front moves through Tuesday night, and that drops us back into the 60s for our highs. Overnight lows will be in the 40s and 50s. Uh, I mean, we're seeing record warmth right now, and I told you after we saw that uh, the cold weather move on through with all that Arctic air, that we're going to have a pretty big warm up, and here we are. We're setting you know record highs across the area. Great, we're not setting records on Friday with, you know, upper 40s, but still, uh, can't complain about that too much. Man, also to note, that's Friday a one night. day dip right there. Yeah, Friday night, uh, we would be near freezing. I think we're going to stay above it, but some places could be at freezing. And yeah, that's a big drop. We're talking over 30 degrees difference. Wow. Yeah, so this is a pretty strong front, Grand. The, the cold air is only, you know, it's a pretty shallow layer in the atmosphere, mm -hmm. but it's enough to, you know, impact us and make it feel cold. And we got the gradual warm up for the rest of the. Get a gradual warm up and we'll have some rain probably earlier next week, but not too much so far. Thank you, sir.